Hello, everyone, to your weekly dose of woo, where we do the woo so that you don't have to, carving out time for yourself to do all the magical things in astrology. This week is Mars retrograde, which starts tomorrow. So Mercury retrograde is the one that everyone knows and dreads, and we have lots of feels about. Mars retrograde happens a lot more rarely, like two, two and a half years, it'll get like in a uncomfortable position. And right now is one of those times. People who have Leo placements and then in a few months, people who have cancer placements will be having just a delightful little aggression. It is it is very much specifically for those two signs, a fuck around and find out kind of situation um, for everyone else. Like, do, don't mess with those two signs in your life. I am a Leo rising and I have five different aspects in cancer. Try me, bitch. Like, I... I am openly willing to fight and argue with anyone at this point. Um, and so it's it's this interesting thing. Mars is, we think of Mars and a lot of people think of aggression. But really all it is, is our sacred masculine. Which in spirituality, we talk about our sacred feminine at nauseum. Because it's our intuition. It's our nurturing. It's our self-care. We very rarely talk about our sacred masculine, partly because it has been bastardized by toxic masculinity, and partly because, well, why would we talk about the masculine when the feminine is so nice? <laughs> and so with re any retrograde, there are two big things that happen with every retrograde. One, the RE, which we talked about last week with Mercury. Everything is redo, review, rewrite, revamp. Everything is an RE. You're not doing anything new in that aspect. And for everyone, it depends upon where Mars falls in their chart, what house, what planets oppose it, what signs oppose it. All of that stuff matters. And so, like, if you want to get into that, like, you schedule a session with somebody, me or a trusted advisor. But in general, Mars is revamping this action steps you're taking. It's your sacred masculine in the form of what motivates you. And this is what's super important right now. So right now we are on December 5th. If you have any project that needs to be done, just fucking do it. Like any, you need to wrap anything up. It needs to be wrapped, wrapped with a bow, but before tomorrow, because tomorrow is when we start our Mars retrograde. But the thing about it is with this masculine, it's the action steps we take forward. And people think that intention doesn't matter. It's like, I can do this. Intention matters. Intention, the same action with a different intention can change the outcome. So what you're doing specifically for this Mars retrograde is looking at what your actual motivation is. And this is so hard for so many people. Because it is this idea that, because everyone's like, you know what? World peace. World peace. Your motivation is not world peace. 99.9% .9 of people's is not world peace. Um, greed, money, sex, happiness, health, safety are big ones. You need to be really honest. D d d smiting your enemies is a motivator. Don't, and, and no shame to anything. That's the thing. It's like, this is not a time to like feel shame over what motivates you. It's to find what motivates you. Because if you're taking these actions outside of alignment of what motivates you, don't even bother. Don't even bother during, during Mars retrograde. And so the exercise that we're doing this week is slightly uncomfortable because it's in our masculine energy, because we want you to be super honest with yourselves. So it's in two parts. I'm really liking two-part things. So everyone's getting double doses recently. We're either doing two topics or two steps for our exercises. Congratulations for all the double dosing that's going on. I want you guys to really think about what is motivating you. You can do this in your life in general, or you can do it with something specific, like your business, being an entrepreneur, or your family, or your health. A lot of us who watch this and obviously who tune in are entrepreneurs who do not have time to pussyfoot around. That's why 
we do the weekly dose of woo and it's only 30 freaking minutes because I do not expect you to carve out 90 minutes for mindfulness every single week. I would love it if you would, but that's not really realistic <laughs> for any of us at the moment. And that's okay. We want you to be realistic with this. I want you to think about it and what actually motivates you. Because honestly, I, I will have a completely, not a vulnerable moment, but a completely transparent moment. My name is Lily McNamara. I run Lily of the Light. I am an international psychic spiritual advisor to high value individuals and high achieving uh, athletes. My motivation for my business is two things. Helping people, making money. That's it. And I would be lying if it wasn't both because I love helping people. But if I, if my motivation was just helping people, I would be washing my hair with rainwater and living in a box. And that's not, not my look. No shame, but not my look. So be very like brutally honest. And it's like, um, I know people of uh, a uh, revenge body. Now is the time where it's like, I'm exercising to be healthy. No, you're exercising because you want your ex to hate themselves for a few minutes the first time they see you again. There's no shame. Just be honest with what you is motivating you to take steps forward. The next thing you're going to do while in Mars retrograde with your motivations, you're not starting anything new, but obviously retrogrades happen all year. There's, there's rarely all planets direct. So the idea that everything must stop. No, don't stop your life for a retrograde. Work around it. Make it work for you. That's why you show up to the weekly dose of woo. And with that, make it work for you. And so you're going to figure out what actually is motivating you as a whole or in an aspect of your life. The second thing you're going to do is it lasts more than eight weeks, Mars retrograde, but we're going to take the first eight weeks. And you're going to make action steps for every week based on either the overarching motivations or for the aspect that you're working on. And you're going to do them. Remember, we're not starting anything new. We are continuing. And what I want you to do is when you're looking at those things and figuring out what your motivations are, that's going to change the action steps you take over the next eight weeks so that it aligns with your motivation. It will make your life easier. And lastly, the warning, don't fight with people, especially Leo and Cancers. We will bite your head off and suck your soul out and not feel bad about it at all. And that's not to say like we're angry, mean people. It's just to say that it's, and it's also not an excuse. So don't, don't excuse poor behavior because this this is happening astrologically it's just something to be aware of like don't start the fight if you don't want to have the fight um but also we leos and cancers in our placements have to like own our own shit like we can't just be toxic assholes for the next eight weeks or whatever uh but it's just something to be aware of so don't start the fight unless you want to have the fight especially with leo and cancers other than that, be the hero of your own story. I have a few really cool announcements for people. So starting in the new year, we will be having a weekly offer that is only given to people who show up for the Zoom and stay on the Zoom. Um, that will be a different workbook and they can be up to one to $200 in value that will be offered to people who show up and... This is just something that I want to do, and it also keeps me making digital products for all of you as much as possible. So I'm really excited about starting that. The course that I have made is in beta testing. And the reason I bring this stuff up is because when you guys are watching the replay right now, that's why we hit record. Before we hit record, we have an entire thing that we do without you. And if you show up and log into the Zoom, you get to do that. You get to talk to me. You get to have, um, after the exercise, we will we'll share experiences and you can ask me a psychic question. You get to share what you're manifesting. We work together. This is about support and building community. So this adds and honestly incentivizes people to show up for the whole experience. And I get that not everyone can do it. 
But if you have the time, once a week for 30 freaking minutes, show up to the live. It is, um, I had to think of what social media was called. Woo! So the links are across social media. Um, it's on my LinkedIn. It's on my Facebook. It's on my Instagram. You can find the link to the Zoom every month. Um, and if you can't just DM me. It's totally fine. I'm a millennial. I answer my DMs like any normal creature. So go forth, be the hero of your own story, and remember that you are worth all the time that you put into yourself.